What is it? Is it Oov? Oove? Barak? Barak is an army thing. Barak? Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sneha and I talk about books. So when I was filming last week's wrap up for the month of April, I realized that I didn't really talk about this one book that I did not finish in April. And that got me thinking that why don't I make a video about the recent did not finished books in my list. So basically, um, there are multiple reasons why I do not finish a book. Um, either I don't like the book, I don't like how the characters are portrayed, or I might just not be in the right frame of mind to complete that book. So there are a few books on this list that I would want to go back and revisit and give them another shot. But yeah, today's video is about all the books that I did not finish in the past three to four months. I have my master excel sheet and my goodreads list uh, which has all the um, books that I've ever read at least in the last couple of years. So let's go. Before we get started I do want to point out that India is in the middle of a huge humanitarian crisis right now. Uh, we have the biggest second wave of COVID-19 cases. It's more deadly, more viral, more um, widespread than it ever has been before and the health infrastructure and the government has completely collapsed um, so there are many on the ground organizations which are doing so much for people in need so it would be amazing if anybody watching this can take out some time and some resources to donate to these people uh, because believe me we can use all your love all your support everything that the world has right now so yeah I'll leave a few links down in the description um, and I had to say that. So let's move on with this video. So first I have my detailed Excel sheet, which has all the books that I've read from 2020. I've tried to capture the books that I've read in previous year, but it's not as comprehensive. Uh, let me know if you want a video where I show you this master Google sheet, which I've developed. I'm inordinately proud of it. And uh, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> first, book and the most recent did not finish is and just hear me out it's anxious people by Frederick Bachman now I love Frederick Bachman a man called Uwe is one of my absolute all-time favorite books it made me cry which many books don't make me cry um, so if a book makes me cry it's automatically one of my all-time favorites so I love 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 a man called Uwe I really enjoyed Bear Town but this book, I started reading it on uh, 6th April 2021. The world was going to shit <laughs> at about the same time. I was reading it as an ebook, and I just could not get into it. Uh, and my main and only complaint with it is it has a lot of run on sentences. I don't know how to explain it without giving you like a live example. Like it's it's just written in this really chaotic manner like it's every sentence is a bunch of like six sentences so for example if i'm trying to describe to you what i ate for lunch today i would say okay so today i ate a pizza but day before yesterday i ate a burger so maybe i should not have had a pizza today because it is junk food and i have been eating junk food consistently and continuously and it's not the right thing to do in such a climate I've, I'm out of breath with those like three lines of sentences and this book is full of such jammed together sentences that it was very, very, very hard to follow. And uh, I was not in the right state of mind to focus 100% on this book. And I feel like this book deserves 100% of the attention. It is not a book that you can like lightly flip through it and you get what the author is talking about. I definitely, definitely want to go back and give this book another chance. I know for a fact that I'm going to like it because the book is about a bank robbery which has gone wrong uh, because the bank robber has fled out of the bank and he's reached like a, a real estate agent's house showing. So there are a bunch of people in this house and the real estate agent who's showing these potential tenants the house. So the bank robber ro walks into such a house and holds them hostage. And there are a lot of very deep insights on um, people, on anxiety, on psychology, on just 
I think the overall feel of the book is that a person is not bad. Like you shouldn't judge somebody on their actions, on some actions that you deem bad. Like a bank robbery, for example, there are multitude of reasons why people do the things that they do and it's you shouldn't inherently brand them bad or evil at the first go itself and that i think is a very very important book for the times you know and i definitely definitely want to read this but maybe when the world itself is a less little bit less chaotic the next book that i did not finish and uh, oof, it made me so angry was maximum city by suketu mehta the book is a non uh, non fiction book about a jo- investigative journalist and nri investigative journalist i just, it, it, it'll get very evident why i mentioned this in a second who comes back to india and settles settles back in mumbai and he writes this book about mumbai in the 90s he talks about the bombay riots he talks about the underworld of the city the collections with the politicians of the time and the bollywood industry and just the overall population of the city how is it split everything about the city right so if you want to know more about mumbai This book is definitely one book which will you will always get recommended and I am here to tell you that please don't read that book. The main reason that I hated I hated reading this book put it down in the first couple of chapters is because the author's narration is extremely extremely classist it could even be called racist because he looks down on people who are less privileged than him. He writes with so much bias against the local Marathi people. and he it he just oversimplifies the complicated history of the city and he thinks that he can do that because he is a privileged man coming from the US and he treats everybody else with that same tone and he talks extremely rudely about them and i just could not take his narration at all in the first couple of chapters so i did not finish it supposedly this book has a lot to say about the underworld about the dons of mumbai um and i was actually genuinely interested to know more about that era but his tone turned me off so so much and it was a lot of poverty porn right he was an he's an nri who's writing about india through that gaze and that's not the right way to write a book that's exactly why i don't like slum dog millionaire i hated the white tiger i feel like if you want to know more about india there are a ton of other books and there are a ton of other movies which do a great job of representing this complicated country but this book definitely should not be your go to if you're looking for some mumbai literature This is one scene where he talks about how he opens the window of his flat in Malabar Hill which is one of the most one of the world's most expensive piece of real estate and apparently because we are in India after all as soon as he opened the window there's like a whole host of garbage which comes into which flies in through the window and lands into his house apparently I mean some of the things in this book are just so hard to comprehend you are in Malabar hill where are you getting this garbage from i really want to the know next book which i did not finish was a promised land by barack obama i was listening to the audiobook of this which is some i don't know 40 hours long and this is just part 1 by the way of his memoir <laughs> there's apparently a part 2 coming up um but i don't know part 1 I gave it up after I I I got a little bit more into this book. I think I got until like twenty percent of the audio book before I just I realized it's really not my cup of tea. The main reasons for this is because a the American political system is extremely 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 complicated, and I just I kept having to pause the audio book to go research about what a particular term means. It's just an off-putting way in general to read any book, I'm sure. And there was a lot happening in the Indian political system at that particular point of time that, you know, I was just really not that focused to learn the political system of the US. Another reason that I just did not gel well with this book is, and I think I won't gel well with a lot of political memoirs, is because it feels a lot like grandstanding to me. And by that I mean, um. and before i go ahead with that i want to uh, emphasize that i understand where that emotion comes from um, where like a historically marginalized section of the population uh, what what they felt when he first got elected as the president right i understand the emotion that went behind the population in general but when he was explaining his motivations when he was explaining his actions in his own words uh, it just felt too condescending like there was always an air of 
him talking like oh he is the best person to do this job because he has really pure intentions he has absolutely no political dreams at all he just wants to go there and do a great job he's the only one who can deliver america to the future and this was written by him right so it just rubbed me off the wrong way and i think it will always rub me off the wrong way i read becoming by michelle obama and i loved the first half of becoming where she's talking about her own journey about her own story her own struggles but as soon as the political bit came in where she was like i didn't want my husband to become the president of the united states but i know that he has to become the president of the united states because he's the only one who can deliver america to the future it just she lost me there he lost me here i think just political memoirs are not my cup of tea because i'm always like suspicious about people's intentions the book that i did not finish is the hating game by sally thorn i i talked about this book in my anti tbr tag um link it up here but um yeah this is a story set in a publicist company where there are two people in the office who hate each other but they also are attracted towards each other and that's it there is no other plot to the story uh they just keep on talking about how much they hate each other uh they hate the other person's guts but how they always find find them attractive and it just dropped me off the wrong way it felt too childish it felt too immature i would have loved to know more nuances about the publishing industry i would have loved more plot points but it was just this consistently annoying narrative of how they hate each other but they're also attracted to each other and i hate such books i talk more about this in my anti tbr video by the way you should totally check it out okay and the last book which i dnf'd for the purposes of this video will be the book of two ways by jodi pico there was a phase in my life where i read every jodi pico book that was ever released and if you know jodi pico you know that's a lot a lot of books i i i i think i have all of them uh these are all back home in hyderabad and i loved her writing i loved how there is a human interest element in the beginning then there's a court case and then in the court case there is you know new things which come up in the case and the end is always a twist I just loved that trope. Of course, most of her books had the same trope, so I did get a little bored. So when this new book came out, I picked it up immediately. I started to read it and it just did not register in my head. There could be another reason for this, uh because I was I think a couple of days away from getting married when I first picked up this book. So Yeah of course my attention was a little diverted so I'll give this book the benefit of the doubt but just a few days earlier I had picked up The Nightingale by Christian Hanna read it finished it loved that book but I just could not get into this book so this I think will be in the category of did not finish now but I think I will go back and give this a shot This book actually I am really not sure what the plot is it is about a woman who is in a plane which I think is about to crash or something like that basically she's she's faced with this moment of life or death and then she when she really when when the plane eventually lands safely and she gets out of the plane she doesn't go home she goes to Egypt because in her earlier life before she gets married and has kids she studies an archaeology course and she's she goes to Egypt to find out things in the tombs and uh, the book of two ways is basically a title derived from an ancient egyptian text with something something related to that but i could not really focus on this i don't remember much about it but i definitely would want to go back revisit this and give it a proper shot yeah those are all the books that i recently dnf'd i think in these we all cover like the past 4 months um let me know if you liked this video i would love to make more videos like this in the future where i basically run you down my dnf so yeah thank you so much for watching do like share comment subscribe all that jazz let me know what you think about any of these books down in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching it means the world to me bye